Hi, fans and friends. Welcome to Gary Olson Studio. And you know, you see in my opening uh, animation, there's a little uh, town clock there with a bird sitting on top. Well, here's the town clock right here. This is a historic landmark in downtown Dubuque, and we're going to actually uh, draw this on the canvas and paint it in oils. It'll be really marvelous. It's going to take some time because it's just absolutely mammoth. But uh, let's give it a shot. What do you say? Getting my drawing on the canvas is a pretty straightforward affair. I use a graphite pencil, and uh, once I establish the composition exactly the way I like it, then I affix it to the canvas using a spray fix. Once I do that spray fix, it dries very, very quickly, and then I mix equal parts of red and blue paint that I get at a local discount store. It's acrylic craft paint, nothing special and I mix it in a paper plate and then I just apply it as quickly as I can to the canvas and it dries. Uh, you don't want it on too thick so that you can see your drawing through that underpainting and you're ready to go. Here's going to be the color palette for this particular painting. Since it's a rather limited palette, I'm going to start with titanium white and that is going to serve as the primary color illuminated by sunlight and I'm just going to take a little bit of raw sienna and mix it with that because I'm going to warm up the white. Okay, so we've got that established. Okay, now we're going to create the shadow. And we're going to take some blue, ultramarine blue, and a little Alzerian crimson. And mix that in. And I'm going to work it down here just a little bit more. More blue. And now some purple. There we go. Now, this is going to be somewhat experimental. I'm going to see how it works. And I want to be able to go back and forth between the highlight color and the shadow color. So I want to be able to do that at will. Just wipe my brush off, dip into the shadow, start filling in some detail in the shadow, and then, of course, go back to the white. And finally, for the darkest portion, I'm going to add Payne's Gray. So there you have this uh, sort of graduated color running from the white down to the uh, darkest shadow color. We may even want to go darker than that. But, and if we do, we'll add black. And there is how I manage that color variation from the lightest light to the darkest dark. And put me on a train I've got no expectations To pass through here again 